get him, buddy. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Oh my yeah, god! No! Oh! oh! What the heck? I know that you guys have been begging me to go shark fishing on the John boat, and I was going to do that today. Look what I did. I still have to burn my Christmas tree, but look what I did this morning just for you guys. I took this Barracuda, look at that face. I took him out of the chest freezer and I was thawing him out because I'm going to use him for the shark bait, but dun 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 dun. I'm sticking them back in the freezer. You're probably thinking, damn it, Heiko, why'd you put it away? I wanna see you go shark fishing, but let me tell you what happened. Carson just called me and he said the, the African pompanos are biting on the wrecks. He invited me out on his boat and take a look. My Range Rover is still in the shop. It's gonna be in the shop for like another week. That's gonna be expensive, but so is life. And I got my bicycle here, and I'm about to take a bike ride from Key Largo all the way down to Tavernier. It's about a 15 mile ride. I'll probably get hit by a semi truck on the way, unfortunately. Oh, I didn't even. I got a bell? I didn't even know I had a bell. I can always go get a shark on the John boat, but I can't always get out offshore and catch me a big AP. So here we are, me pondering about doing this really far bike ride. I just did some serious contemplating. An Uber is gonna cost me $45. I ain't got no $45. I'd rather take a one-way ticket to heaven. Okay, I can't bring any fishing gear, so I just got my bucket and my camera gear. I don't know how I feel about this. You know what? F this. My life is worth way more than 50 bucks to me. 43.94. Confirm pickup. It's gonna be like a hundred dollars just to get to my buddy's house and back. But I tell you what, my German friend, Mario, just got hit by a bus not too long ago too. He was in the hospital for a few weeks. 15 miles along US-1 in the Keys, is, is that is some danger zone, baby. That is some danger zone. I got an idea. If you're going fishing, make sure you head on over to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com and get yourself some of my, some of my lures. We got stinger tips. The weedless squid rig, our very favorite. This will catch tuna like freaking nothing else will. We got lots, lots of stuff, man. Link in the video description below if you want to help the channel out. Yeehaw, thank you so much. Are you for real my Uber driver? Are you going to put me on camera now? <laughs> Do you want to be on camera? <laughs> Not, oh, you know what? I'm going to grab my fishing pole. I can't believe man, he's my Uber driver. Yo, yeah, that's some funny sh right there. Busy doing something, man. Right? That's that's a solid run. Yeah. Do it early in the morning, then I can off the rest of the day. I'm good. I even got my fishing pole. That's the exciting part. Yeah, you got the baby stroller up in there. Oh man. That's what you're <laughs> if I would have to take somebody to the airport with luggage, I would have been fucked. All right. Uh, I'll grab my food, my 7-Eleven food. All right, man. Have, have a good. Uh, good luck. Yeah. All right, later, man. Later, brother. We gonna kill a fish today? Probably, yeah. I sure hope so. Man, you got that seaweed back up in here again. Open sesame. All right, got some chum. Chum, chum delicious. Ooh, that is ripe. That smells real. Oh, oh, mama mia. Now I know the camera makes you nervous. God, it sucked. <laughs> it was okay. Yes, football. A football. What's that rope down there? Is that somebody's net? Is that yeah. some? Is that that? Grab that gaff, dude. Wait, where's the gaff? Where's the gaff? See it? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh my God, it's an entire cast net. Houston, we got a problem. Oh, <gasps> Carson. Carson, Andrew. <laughs> Those are old baits. How long have those been in there? Two days. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, this is a big net. Yo, this this net is in good condition. It's probably only been down there for like a day. That's a nice net. Huh? Yeah, it's a really nice net. Ooh, there's some nice. Whoa, what? That's a fat one. There's some below us. Woo! You get them good? I see him panicking in there. little bumpy ride out to the reef's edge here but today's plan we're out here with Carson once again yo and we are going master to master Guggen here <laughs> hey so far we've been putting fish on the boat almost every time sometimes not the most practical ways yeah but... not the smoothest but <laughs> nope. we, get it, we get it done we get her done so on the bay boat. so today we're went off the reef's edge off Tavernier. we're in like a hundred feet of water we're just gonna put live pilchards to the bottom and just drift them along the reef so see if we can bite maybe an ap maybe some big muttons maybe some jacks i don't know on right away so once you grab the leader or once once you get to the leader you're gonna hand line it up uh this one i'll probably hand line it doesn't feel very big yeah <laughs> Turns into a monster. Ate the pilchard right off the bottom. Damn, okay. Oh, he's, so he's got some girth to him. Break his will. He's fighting good. Feel these for bottom fishing? A little slow. Yeah. Yeah, that is not a two speed reel. Fishing fishing that good bottom in 100 feet. That good, good bottom. Oh, oh is, is that leader? Yeah. Oh, baby. That's it's got an interesting almost like a grouper like thump. Yeah. Could be an AP, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna guess it's like a small jack. <laughs> oh nice mutton! Oh baby! Nice mutton. Holy smokes! <laughs> Full size mutton, first drift. Oh baby! You want me to clean them off? Yeah, maybe a little bit. The death grab. Don't let him swim away now. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Beast. Brain bleeding ice. Whew. Not bad for a first drift. Not bad at all. Dang, that was like that was like a couple minutes into the first drift. Already stacked on meat. Yeah, that's a big mutton. <laughs> oh baby. Look at that. All right, pilchard hook through the mouth on a circle hook. Oh, he's a feisty one. Nice. Get that chum bag out. There's like a thing right where the weight goes on. Yeah, you'll feel it. So be careful because it's not on the braid, it's on the mono still. So there's quite a bit of mono. Oh, I see it. Snap on the weight and, and close the snap all the way. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll close it. Down she goes. Yeah. Oh. What was that? I think the weight's gone. What? Weight's gone. Yeah, weight's gone. What was that? What's going on here? Well, no, broke at the loop. Broke at the dropper loop. Just no, something. Dude, something definitely ate the. Uh, oh, ate so the it weight. ate the weight. <laughs> what? It ate the weight. At least we got a bite, you know, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. Two drifts, two bites. Two drifts, two bites. Alright, Carson caught a mutt in the first drift, and I did the second drift, and my weight got bit off. You know, typical me. And now Carson is doing round three. Sending. We'll see what we bring on up this time. Something's definitely coming up this time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Oh. No, yeah, no. Man, this reel is slow. <sighs> it's hard to get tight on there, huh? It's like... <laughs> this, this far up, I might as well check. Yeah, might as well check it. There's some kind of weight on here. Probably just my bait. Oh, he's fucked up. Yeah, good thing we did it. 
Oh, he got slashed. Oh, he's got no scales on him. Yeah. He got slurped down. Kingfish or something. No, that's that's mutton, dude. Yeah. That's snapper. Yeah. Right. Woo! I, just didn't, I didn't let him eat long enough. All right, drift number four. <laughs> there you go, sir. Why, thank you. All right. Oh. Okay. Send them on down. Do the mutton dance. Do the mutton dance. All right, I can get one. All right, drift number four. We've had a bite every single drift so far. The water is a little greenish. Apparently the fish love that. Yeah! He's on there. Oh, he's he's got some spunk to him. He's getting cranked up now. I think so, yeah, feels good. Feels kind of like a mutton to me. There's leader. Let's see what kind of juicy treat we got here. He's still fighting me. He was. Oh, I think that's a mutton. Oh. mutton, baby. Oh, baby. Nice. <laughs> no of those. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Mine's bigger. <laughs> yeah, yours was bigger. Just kidding. <laughs> they're, both, they're both big in their own way. <laughs> that one's got a bigger heart. Woo! Woo-wee! Mutton! Yeah. That's two out of, what, is that two out of five drifts? Two for five. Yeah. Two for five. It's pretty good. And five out of five on the bites. Every drift, we got a bite. Woo! Yeah, I think I'm going to get carp and tunnel from that reel. Oh. Carson just had a big hit. It came, it was a key fish. It came up. Uh, yeah, you, you, you think your bait's still on there? Probably not. I'm gonna give it like three seconds. Lost another fish. That's six out of six drifts we've got bit. No hook. It ate your hook. That had to have been a kingfish. That was a kingfish. A big one. The mutton dance. The mutton dance. The mutton dance. Oh. Thank you. There's kings down there. I, d I have stinger tips, like just those J hooks on a little piece of wire. Am I already on a fish? Wait a second. I didn't feel the weight for a second, but I feel it now. That was weird. Let's see what happened here. There's definitely no bait left on it. No hook. I got bit off. Damn, yeah. I, got, I must have got bit off right there in the beginning when that weight disappeared. There he goes. All right, drift number seven, I think, or eight. Got a bite every time so far. Got him. Fish on. What does it feel like? Oh! <laughs> Another mutton, huh? Well, I'm not complaining about that. Whoa! I almost took a dive in the water again. Another mum. Oh! Blue runner. To send him back with a hook on him or just send him back <laughs> that's a fatty adios yes stinger tip time i just lost feeling of the weight there's still a weight on there there's some works down there come on give us another one another one another one oh oh yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's still running. His rods always dig right into my freaking groin. This is something good, I think. Oh, yeah. There's the weight. What do we have here? Another pink fish. Oh, another mutton. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Woo. Yeah! Woo! He might have gotten a pinky. He might have gotten a oh little bite on the way up. Wow! Dang, you put it right through his jugular. Well, you know, that's what I was aiming for. That's why it took me three times. Beautiful! Three muttons in the box already. We've been doing nothing but reeling fish in this whole trip. Oh, oh. 
Thought he got shark for a second. That's a pretty violent head shake. An AP would be like All right, this. Let's run him down. All right. It's, it's something. It's something else. Can we just back up on him. Back up on him. Uh. Too late. Yeah. It's all good. Come on, baby. Uh, maybe I should be at the front. Almaco? Do you want him? Uh, no, not with all this mutton on the boat. Yeah, let's let, him, let's let him go, let him grow. Let him go, let him grow. If that was our only fish, I'd be like, yeah, throw him in the box. That's they actually are good eating. Yeah, those are great eating. All right, final drift. Putting down a pilcher. Oh, I didn't even know we had one this big left. Look at this guy. I know, I'm looking at it right now. Down here. Oh, pfft. Oh, no way. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there's your AP, dude. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. We're gaining on him. Oh, he's taking line. Woo, he's running. Come back to daddy. I got a nice home for you. Set at the perfect temperature of 375 degrees. Yo, this guy's got some spunk to him. Ooh -hoo. He's fighting all the way to the top. That's a good sign. We got color. Is that a mutton? Oh my lord. Oh, that's a, that's a thick boy. Holy stun muffin! What? That thing fought like crazy. Yeah, he was fighting hardcore. Damn! Ho oh, oh. ho! Thick boy! There's colors on him, man. Yeah! Look at that tail! Oh. Damn! He's taking up the whole cooler. Oh, oh, oh. I think we got we got four muttons in there, I think, right? Yeah, lay them suckers out. <laughs> Holy smokes. We said our last drift, but we had to do another one. And we're on again. Are we gonna have to chase this one? Another mutton. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh baby. He's he's pulling drag. I think we're good. I think it's just a mutton. It's just a mutton. Oh! oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Could this be an AP? The ones that I've caught fight a lot harder than this. That would is a weird run though for a yeah. mutton to do that. Maybe yeah, shark chased him. Uh, where, where do we want to take the weight off? Oh, this side of the boat or? Yeah, what the heck is going on here? There's something, there's two things that are coming up. Oh God. There, <laughs> there's two big lines coming no. up. I don't think it's a mutton though. Yeah, I don't, I'm. if that's a mutton then there's, oh, I want to at least see what it is. No. <laughs> All right, we should be seeing him any second here. Oh. Oh, that's an AP, dude, that's an AP. Take your time on the gas. Oh, 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 Take your time. Get him, buddy, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Oh my yeah, God. Oh. oh, what the heck? <laughs> Oh, nice way to end it. Man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, baby, that face. Damn. Look at that mouth on him. I mean, he could choke down a pretty good bait. <laughs> Holy stud muffin. Good? Yeah. <laughs> I need a bigger cooler, man. I keep telling myself I'm gonna get one. Wow. <laughs> he don't fit. 
Damn! Not a bad afternoon session, dude. Not a bad afternoon session at all. Big shout out to Carson for taking us fishing. Hit the like button if you liked that fishing trip, if you had fun. And look what we got in the fridge. Carson gave me a ride home yesterday, you know, so I didn't have to get Uber again. And I even took home one of these bad boys. What do you think, Elliot? Pretty exciting, huh, buddy? Yeah, you're gonna get some, don't you worry. You're gonna get some. So we're gonna take, I had the fish on ice overnight. I was too tired to fillet it yesterday. Plus I need some sunlight, right? So you guys can watch me do it. Come on, buddy. Oh, Elliot's already waiting. He's like, open the door. Let's go, let's go. Come on, bud. Come on, come on, buddy. Look at him go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh baby all right i'm gonna use the big boy knife because he's a big boy and i'm definitely gonna keep the throat of him first we'll start off by outlining him you know I think this Bubba blade will be better for outlining. Oh yeah, much better. Once you outline your fish, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other side. Now we're gonna use the extra large scimitar knife where our fish is outlined and we will just run your knife along the ribs. Easy peasy. See that? peels right off. Boom, baby. It's fat slabs. We got almost all the meat off the ribs. You know, that's pretty much all the meat. There's a little bit left here. I mean, just a tiny bit. You know, some people will dog you out for leaving a tiny bit of meat. But you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll take my knife and just whatever meat I might have accidentally left. Like just that cut and that cut and that's it. So this will be for Elliot. Where's Elliot at? Where is Elliot? Elliot, where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Come here. Give me my boy. Here. I'll just put, I'll put, yeah, here, I'll put it down for you. No, don't drop it in the dirt. Okay, good. You got it. What we're going to do now is uh, skin the fish, cut the meat off the skin. So you just take your knife. You get grab a piece of the skin like that and then kind of just the sharper your knife the easier this is and this knife isn't that sharp I, I probably should have sharpened it but uh it's it's still doing the trick <clears throat> there we go and check this out we can peel that up Ooh -hoo -hoo. there's the skin there is a fat schlob of meat right there i mean that is zesty boys we'll put that in our bowl here and we got something special planned in the kitchen today something that i have not done on the south florida fishing channel yet you know i'm trying to keep things interesting and uh let's give elliot another bite come on bud come here come here what was that That's a good kitty. 
Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing to the other side of the fish, and then we're gonna take the throat out. Boom, baby. Slabs. Bam, another flat slab. Welcome to Slab City. This is how we do it here. And there's a throat here, which is now my favorite part of a mutton snapper, is the throat baked so good. So the throat is basically this part right here. But you gotta be careful because all the organs are right in here and you don't wanna cut it down here. All right, take some advice from me. I think the best way to do this is with a very sharp serrated knife because with a serrated knife, you can just like saw through it. And there's kind of a lot of bones here. So it's not exactly the most difficult thing to, or not really the easiest thing to do. Like right there, that's a thick bone. I don't even know how I'm gonna get, ooh, how I'm gonna get through that. I almost cut my finger off. Maybe like, uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get through that. I think just some, just some sheer force. <clears throat> Chopping is a very useful technique. Oh yeah. Chopping, that's how you do it. You gotta chop it. <laughs> there we go. Got through it. Uh, definitely not smart to do that with a, a knife. Like, I should be using an axe for this. Once you've chopped through the bones, you can kind of, you can almost uh, rip the throat off. <clears throat> there we go. Pull those organs out. <sighs> Whew, there we go. That right there is the throat. A fat, fat chunk of meat. Not, you know, there's the heart. That right there is the heart. Oh, boys, we gonna be eating good today. Mmm. All right, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. We have ourselves quite the mixture of deliciousness. We got tomatoes, lemon, garlic, some crushed red peppers, some white wine, a fresh piece of sourdough, and of course, fresh fish. Now let's go get some fresh herbs. You can call me herb boy because I got all the herbs. I got basil and I got some chives. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got the biggest chives known to man. Look at <laughs> Damn, they don't disappoint. They do not disappoint. Honestly, two of them is probably enough. We'll get some basil too. Then we're just gonna, let's see, we got our basil, chives, or green onions. We're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And then we're gonna be cooking everything inside here. So all these red tomatoes, I'm gonna cut in half, throw in there. Cut in half, throw in there. Snap, all the tomatoes are in there. And then I also got these tomatoes, which are a fun color and they're supposed to be flavor packed. Might as well drop those in there too. What else do we want to put in here? We got some garlic cloves. I'll put about a little handful of garlic cloves in there. I love garlic, especially full. I'm going to put the chives in there. Boom! I'll do half the basil in there. Boom! All right, crushed red pepper. All right, all right. I got a lemon, which I'm going to squeeze in there after it's done cooking. We got ourselves some white wine, so I'll just add a little drizzle of that. I was gonna put all the fish in there, but I just realized that is a thick piece of fish. I'm only gonna do half of the fish one filet. And I'm gonna cut cut it up a little bit so it'll fit in there much better. You know what, I'll probably, I'll cut that in half even. I'm also going to cut out the bloodline of this fish, which is this red meat. And it's a little fishier, so a lot of people like to cut it out. But you know who loves the bloodline? Come here, come here. Yeah, buddy, come here. Yeah. Yeah, he does. We're almost done. Final step. We got sliced all the mutton snapper, that one filet, into manageable sized pieces. There is a lot of meat on just one filet, but I'm going to stick these down in there. 
Try to get it up under the ma uh, tomatoes and basils. Wow, this smells so good. Now, for the one of the best and most simple ingredients, salt and pepper. I'm gonna try to get the salt like right on the fish. Put on that guy, that should be good. And then some pepper. There we go, that's it. Time to go in the oven. Let's see, uh, it's 385. Oh, it's pretty much at 400. Let's stick it on in. Oh, baby mama drama. It's been 10 minutes and it smells so good in there. Woo. I'm gonna move. Move it to the side and we're gonna slide our sourdough loaf in there. So it's been 10 minutes and it'll probably be another 12, 15 minutes and we're done. Wow. Take a fork and if it goes through the fish perfectly, you know it's done and whoo, oh damn. This fish is perfect. I can already tell it's flaky. Oh man. So I'm gonna add the fresh basil and the fresh chives left over on top. Those will kind of get a little soft in a second here. And I love eating those just how they are. Take our lemon. It's my favorite part of the day. And that is trying the food that we just cooked. I got this fresh sourdough bread here, still steaming hot. Cut off a slice. And first, I just I want to start simple. I'm gonna dump this into the the juice. Woo! Let's see how that tastes. Wow. Oh my. Hmm. I'm gonna lose my train of thought here. But I'm at a very inconvenient angle the way that I set this tripod camera, but I don't feel like changing it, so we're gonna eat like this. Let's try a piece of fish. Flaky, super white. I mean, it's just coming apart. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Probably gonna burn my mouth. Mm. It's, it's so fresh because of the basil and the tomatoes. The fish is kind of flavorless. It's just like a firm white fish, which I like that in a fish when it's just like, just delicious. There's nothing off-putting about it at all. Mmm. Oh, it's so hot. And the tomatoes. Oh, I'm not gonna put that in my mouth. I would die if I did that. Oh, here's a piece of garlic though. All right, the garlic isn't completely cooked through. So maybe next time I do this, I'll, I'll um, brown the garlic a little bit first and then I'll add all the tomatoes and everything. That probably would be the smart thing to do. Ooh, but it's so good. Mm. Thanks for watching this episode all the way to the end. I'm about to go and feast, but before the day ends, I just wanted to show you guys the sunset. Look at that beauty. And I do got some good news. I am getting somebody to fix the Evinrood on my boat. So we'll be doing some offshore trips soon. I also have, no, that's top secret. I can't talk about that yet, but I got some things in the works that you guys are gonna really enjoy, I think. You know, I also got the John boat sitting down there. So I'll probably be doing that John boat shark fishing episode soon. I know I keep saying it and I keep putting it off because I keep getting invited out on these other trips, like this big mutton day we had today, so I can't help it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching to the end. Hit the like button, leave a comment. I will see you guys on the next episode. Cheers. Mm -hmm.